Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. Thursday, July 27th marks the one-year anniversary of the devastating East Kentucky floods in which many people lost their homes and some lost their lives. Governor Andy Bashir made an appearance in Prestonsburg to announce a $2 million housing project for the flood survivors in the area. In total, 33 houses will be built in Prestonsburg across two vacant lots. Well, we're pleased as we sit here a year later that we have 300 homes that are habitable again, either being mucked out, uh, repaired, or, or built from, from scratch. We have three high ground communities, well, uh, if you consider this one, now four, uh, that we have announced uh, across Kentucky uh, due to some federal permitting requirements. Um, I'm disappointed that we haven't been able to break ground yet, but if we did too early, we lose that $300 million in federal funding. So a little bit frustrated at the federal bureaucracy, but knowing and believing that we are going to get those done here at, at the least in the fall, if not the late summer, and then you will see not just homes coming up, but neighborhoods coming up. Bashir's hope for the future is that the citizens of East Kentucky continue to rebuild better than before. Construction on the vacant lots is expected to begin soon. One of the biggest challenges we have is that this much water destroyed over a billion dollars of water and sewer systems. Now, that lets us rebuild and rebuild better and rebuild in a way that addresses major challenges that existed before. But it continues to be uh, a lot of work. But if we remain committed, we continue to keep our promise. What we will have at the end of the day will be something special. Not just uh, rebuilt neighborhoods, but uh, revitalized neighborhoods, new schools, senior living, medical uh, facilities, access to services that may not have existed before. Our goal has to be better for people who've been through so much. We already have our utility folks that are here. Um, as you can see, the buildings around, it's close. The power's here, uh, the water's here. Actually, the firefighters were telling me the pressure is really good here. And so uh, having the utilities close by uh, will create a faster timetable. They were telling me that they think they're going to be pouring slabs in the very near future. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.